You're sick of my madness. Don't you tell me what I'm supposed to do. You're better off without me. Ah, yeah, I'm back. You don't wanna nasa mga ibo every time. Ah, madam consistency. Anyway, hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosa Rosa Karemi. I create lifestyle videos and fashion and anything that is, you know, exciting to me. So welcome to my life. Um, so before I start decorating my house, I thought I should give you a house tour, and the house tour is here. Drum rolls. <laughs> so since I moved here in November last year, I haven't touched anything. To in this house like i haven't bought anything for the house and i thought since i am starting to be to do some changes in here i should give you a house tour so let's get to it after the stairs on your left where you find my house and we have a small gate every house gets a small gate for everyone you know to access so i can lock it or not i don't lock it this ha this place is completely safe so you continue and then there's a door there's the entrance door but before the door there is that place that i call it my little garden because in this house i don't get <coughs> in this house i don't get a balcony so that's us like my balcony so my plants are there and that there's a tap there so then you enter the house let's enter Kariboni. So, welcome to my sitting room, and this is the situation as per now, so we start with the curtains, so I have these shears I bought from Gikomba some time back, they used to hang on my window, in my bed sitter, and then I have those curtains previously owned by my cousin who saved me a lot when I was moving out. And so I am doing away with that today. Actually, that's why I'm doing this video because I need to start redecorating. And I hate this table. I honestly hate <laughs> this table. <clears throat> when I gave my fundi this table to make, I had an idea in my head. And what they made was completely different. If I see a picture, I will insert it here so you, so you can see. So cheap is expensive. Cheap is expensive. So I'm, I'll do away with it. I don't know where to take it, but I'll do away with it. So, and then I have that tripod. That's where I put my tripod. And then my other lighting are in here. And my throw blankets in that basket and yeah and this is the couch i bought when i was moving out i didn't plan to buy this one but the one i wanted plants didn't go as planned so i took whatever i had then this is my carpet which i also inherited from my cousin oh my god susie i love you so much Yanni. then on that side we have that Ah, TV stand, guys. Your TV stand is not going I feel like it's more for this house, but I think I'm going to make it work because I am not ready to buy another TV stand unless there's anyone willing to do, you know, something about it. But for me, I'm good with that. And then I'll mount the TV, paint the walls. You know, when you put up. I got them here. So yeah. And these lights don't work. I also need to make them work. I also need to, to work on my wall art. So frames match better come through. So that's it for my sitting room. It's quite big. Like it's, <clears throat> for me, it's okay. I don't need a dining table and I plan to find a mirror and put it there. 
so I can be taking selfies of myself. This house is quite dull, so I need to make it bright. Like I need to brighten it up with uh, a brighter carpet, brighter curtains, and yeah, we're gonna work on that and bright walls. So moving on. <clears throat> oh, I have this mat here to prevent this um, wire from being kicked when someone is moving. This door is always open, by the way. Unless when I'm here in the sitting room. So, kitchen kwanza. So, when you come in, it's so cold, guys. So, we go into the kitchen. This is my kitchen. I know. I still use the Meko, guys. I need intervention. I need a cooker. I still need a cooker. So, this is how my kitchen looks. For now, we are working on a cooker. I feel like that's all I need in this kitchen. And then uh, a mat there. There is a mat I usually use, but it's not there. And I don't know why they put like that drainage there. When I forget to flood kitchen, Ama. Anywho. Yeah. And then these are the storage places. Very, very high, actually. Even for me. And I am. Like, Zina Kwanga very high, even for me, being a very tall girl. Don't ask me why my suitcase is up there. I don't know if I can use so there's space up there, so I thought I should utilize it. I bought this rack at Jumia. Previously, was being used on top of this, but right now, I feel like that's the perfect situation for it and this is where i put my spices i think i need better management of my spices and my utensils but i made an order of the over the sink organizer i hope it will fit if it doesn't but i think it will so yeah and that's the under the counter organization i feel like also i don't have enough working space in here so i brought this table if you remember my bed sitter and if you've not watched my bed sitter tour you'll see it so i brought it here for organization i put fruits then electronics kitchen electronics down here like blenders and everything and there's this other fruit then this plant if you remember again my bed sitter you know these tools so i think it's perfect there <clears throat> yeah and then i have this plant situation also have an uh, plants in here which are garlics coming up yeah so going out so there's usually this car, car space here there's a space here where I usually take my OTD <laughs> when I want to and it's something I want to stick to but I feel like this mirror is small so I'll get a bigger one and then bedroom one this is it no curtains no shears and I want it to stay that way for now and for the it's supposed to be my study stroke where I come and unwind. So I I plan to place something here. I'll put a picture here and then you can get the idea. So there's a bench I want to put here that I can sit and look outside because I love the view. I love the view. Like I can see the road and down the road, the stadium and up the road like i can see a lot and also sometimes i can see mount kenya i don't know if you can see at the far end <clears throat> so this is my study desk <sighs> my shoe situation is like that i need a shoe rack i definitely need a shoe rack this is my wardrobe one let's close this I really have a lot of clothes storage, so I am 
grateful for that. So I need a shurak, I say that. And then I have that basket over there. I've been decluttering and I have excess clothes in there and shears and curtains that I want to put in my sitting, ro sitting room and bedroom. Yeah. So bedroom one is done. I love the lighting, guys. So bedroom one is directly like opposite the bedroom, the sitting room door. So we proceed. Yeah, we have bedroom one and the sink outside. Here's where I brush my teeth. And yay. So I don't know what this is. Like I really cut up. So this is my washroom situation right now. This I bought at Ilanenia, the little mall, Garden City, not Garden City, China, China Mall. <laughs> this one I bought at China Mall, the one for the tissue and that that basket, which I love. Like it helps me organize a lot in this bathroom. Plus it's nylon, so I take more if you want to manage stress. So. I can wash here, flood it, and I won't be stressed. So I bought two for the two bedrooms. And then here I have some things I don't frequently use. I have the shower gel. And then I have this other soap dish that I bought at China Square. Yeah, it's China Square, not China Mall. Yeah. A lot to be done here, but that's all we have for now. And then after that, there's this door, which is metallic, which I can close if I want privacy and I have friends over or I have people over. So it's this house is really nice for family. Um, so if you open up, it opens up to the other bedroom and suits. So we have another sink here. And another mirror, which is a bit, I don't know what is this, but still functions. And then there's this little, little, I think it's little. It's a small bathroom. I don't even use it. Let me show you from. Like the door, it's the normal door, like divided by two. <laughs> so it's supposed to open like one. So mostly that it's where I store my extra toiletries and also buckets and all kind of stuff because I rarely, rarely, rarely use it unless at night when I'm in the bedroom and I need to use the washroom real quick. So that's it. It's really, really small. Another downside with these washrooms is the shower is really close to the door. So I need to push it like, I don't know what to do, to push it like hook of other. <laughs> like immediately, if you open the door after showering, you see, in a fungu kwa tuwapo kwa shower. So it's um, something I'm thinking of doing. But this one, I feel it's okay, okay located because the bathroom is also small. And I ha also have that uh, basket here that I store extra toiletries. So after that, this is the bedroom. So as I said, we can lock ourselves in here for privacy. So immediately you enter, you recognize my shears. I felt like I didn't need curtains in this room because I knew 
I had to change them. So I've just put shears of which I am removing them today. I need dark curtains. I bought some gray curtains. I hope they will help because I don't want to be woken up by the light in the morning, like six light in a Kwangemengia. So I really need dark, dark curtains so I can overcome the morning. Yani, I can wake up when I want. So this is how my bedroom looks like. First off, you have the wardrobe. You can see like after the bedroom, there's that sink, then there's the I hope you get the picture. <laughs> okay, so this is every wardrobe has that mirror. Well, I don't use it that much. <laughs> I really don't. So I need to get another mirror, either to place it there or there for myself. So this is my bed. I used to think my bed is big. It's I think it's four by six. Four by six. It's enough for me. But I think I need a bigger bed now. Okay, we'll see about that in the future. But for now, it's enough for me. And I have no, my bed is not at the wall. Guys, ah, nimefika. Kitanda yangu, ikona space his side and that side. <sighs> we were told what. <laughs> Anywho, that's it. I have this extension that I use at night. Mostly it's portable. I can use it in the sitting room. Whenever I go, it follows. So... Yeah, and I brought that plant here because it's it's called snake plant and it purifies the air during overnight, during the night. So, yeah, and there's that basket down there. Love it. I love this bedroom, so I need to work on it more. And I think that's it, guys. Hey, watch out on the Masima because electricity is expensive nowadays. What are you saying? Huh? So expensive. But I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Um, yeah, if you have any suggestions, just tell me. I thought I should like do the tour right now. I don't know if I showed you that car window. I love it because another view guys but <laughs> i really stand there i need to see anything and i love that the kitchen has two windows that window i rarely use but i know my neighbors usually like see me do it it's this window that i use mostly it has the same view as the corridor window yeah and up here is where i put my things on the microwave, on the fridge, which are all inherited. We need to up our game, yeah? Get our own things, but I'm not getting rid of the fridge and the microwave till soon. But the carpet, the curtains and everything, we are doing away with them today. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour and you're looking forward to the next one if you've enjoyed the tour and you're looking forward towards the next one i've just been in in the house lazing around and house tour and that was my today's task i had to do it so enjoy watching and god bless ya see you on my next okay Bye. Have me by your side when the sun sets